Have you ever thought about the probability of alien contact? And I mean the actual mathematical probability. Frank Drake has got you covered. Hi everyone, I'm Adva and today we are talking about the Drake Equation. The equation was hypothesized by noted astrophysicist and astronomer Frank Drake in 1961. And since then, it has steadily grown in popularity showing up all over pop culture. It estimates the number of communicating alien civilizations in our galaxy, or simply put, the probability of us finding alien. It relies on seven key variables. R star, the rate of star formation in our galaxy. Fp, the fraction of those stars that have planets. Ne, the average number of planets in the system that can support life. Fl, the fraction of planets that actually develop life. Fi, the fraction of life forms that become intelligent. Fc, the fraction of civilizations that communicate by radio. And lastly, L, the mysterious longevity factor. When we multiply all of these together, we get N, the number of alien civilizations. But of course, getting N is not as easy as typing in seven numbers in a calculator and hitting equals for a result. Firstly, we don't even know most of the values. We only have decent estimates for the first three numbers. After that, everything gets really speculative. FL, FI, and FC are based solely on the information we get from Earth. Seeing that we only have one planet, that gives us a really tiny sample size. Secondly, the equation assumes that life can only form on a planet that revolves around a star. This completely disregards moons or rogue planets or planets that orbit a black hole like Miller's planet in the movie Interstellar. Interstellar, by the way, great movie. Great movie. Thirdly, a lot of the unknown terms can't be estimated well. Take FL as an example. Since life seemed to emerge and not the moment conditions were favorable, it's not wrong to assume that FL would be a large fraction like 99 and 100. However, it's not wrong to assume that Mars too at one point had favorable conditions for life, and we haven't found anything there yet. Another debatable variable is FI. Since life has always continued to evolve, the case can be made that intelligent life is inevitable. However, in the case of Earth, humans are a single species out of billions, so maybe we are improbable. And lastly, L, the longevity factor. This is essentially how long civilization lasts before time out. It's really important because we can't really find the aliens once they're dead, can we? We have absolutely no idea what L might be. Some say it'll be as low as a few hundred years because life would wipe itself out with nuclear warfare and whatnot. Others say that at once civilizations could overcome all threats to survival, potentially making L billions of years. We really don't know, it's hard to say. Since N, the number of alien civilizations is so heavily dependent on L because the rest of the terms can sort of cancel out to one, some have gone as far as to redefine N as L. Okay, I'm done criticizing it now. Don't get me wrong, I love the equation. Let's move on to actually calculate a decent range for N. NASA estimates that the rate of formation for stars in our galaxy is between 0.68 solar masses and 1.5 solar masses. Since the average star is around 0.5 solar masses, this comes to 1.5 to 3 stars being born every year. Microlensing shows that basically all stars have planets, so we can take Fp as 1. Kepler's Space Telescope data showed Ne to be around 0.4, but some think it should be about 1. We'll take a range. Now for the really fuzzy bit. FL and FI. Like I said before, they're both heavily debated. So we'll take fairly inclusive ranges of 0.01 to 1 and 0.001 to 0.95. FC is another tricky one. Let's use Drake's original estimate of 0.2. And L. Oh, L. Why does L have to be so tricky? Anyway, let's take a range of 10,000 years to 10 million years for simplicity. Alright, finally, we have all of our accurate age numbers. Let's multiply. So our final range using a fairly conservative estimate is... 0 0.02 to 5.7 million. That really narrows down things, doesn't it? Hey, we hope you found this video fun slash informative slash useful. If you want more cool content, click up here to watch a video randomly chosen by YouTube's algorithm. If you want to subscribe, click up here. We'll see you in the next video, but until then, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the CMX like hilarious bite.